Most people make a choice in their training. Today I will do a strength workout, tomorrow a cardio workout. Or perhaps you're gonna do a strength workout and in the end of that strength workout you do some jogging for fat loss and endurance. But fewer people combine these two together. And why is this? Because when you combine strength with your endurance, you get some of the toughest and most intense workouts imaginable. It just so happens that this would also give you the most widely functional form of strength, strength endurance. So what is strength endurance actually? So we need to first look at endurance itself. And endurance is actually a spectrum where on one end you have a heavy single repetition squat, on the other hand, you have a marathon and somewhere in between you will find strength endurance. This is the point where proper intensity meets a relatively long duration of time. So strength endurance is your ability to sustain performance for a prolonged duration of time under sufficient physical stress. And strength endurance happens when you keep going even when the going gets tough. If you don't care about the full potential of your body, or performing your best in different sports and real-life physical situations, then you certainly don't need strength endurance. But if you're looking to get the most out of your workouts and your own physique, then listen up. Let's imagine for a moment that you know how to do exercises really well. Your form is in check, your posture is good, and you know how to use proper control. After this, your results are to a large extent dependent on your work capacity. The more you can do in a given time frame and the better intensity you can maintain, the stronger stimulus you will cause into your body. So even if you never stepped outside the gym, by possessing better strength endurance and work capacity, you're going to be able to do more, push harder and recover faster, all leading to better results. We also cannot ignore the effects on the aesthetics of your body. With this type of training, you will really build your most ripped physique and develop extremely defined muscle tissue. But what about real life and sports performance? <laughs> the truth is that any type of training can be functional as long as it serves the purpose you have on your mind or the task at hand. For instance, if you end up in a situation where you need to lift a heavy object for once or twice, then your one rep max training will be very useful. We can all agree that pure strength and maximal power are important, but they are still just a very small part when it comes to the big picture. No training is as universally functional as strength endurance when it comes to sports performance and jobs that require physical capabilities. In fact, without strength endurance, you don't have any performance. Imagine if Khabib Nurmagomedov got tired after just one round of MMA, or if Cristiano Ronaldo slowed down after running just a couple of minutes on the field. All major sports such as tennis, swimming, basketball, soccer, dancing and especially martial arts require strength endurance. See, I have wrestled and sparred with people who are 20 kilos lighter than me, who also outconditioned me and I got completely smashed. But I've also wrestled with people almost 30 kilos heavier than I am and after a round or so I was the one who was on top because of my conditioning. So we need to face the facts here. Without strength you will surely be tossed around. But if you have strength and no endurance it will only take a minute longer until you will become the punching bag. Of course skills and gas management play a big role but you still need to have the underlying machinery of conditioned muscle tissue and developed lungs and heart to sustain any kind of move. This is the universal ability to withstand physical stress and pressure while maintaining your performance. When it comes to physical jobs like with the military and law enforcement, you absolutely need to be prepared to endure. Some situations may resolve quickly, but you cannot count on this. So you need to have the ability to go the extra mile and be fit for service. This way you will have the confidence to keep pushing forward or just maintain your pace while still knowing you have plenty gas left in the tank if it's needed. Now you might say, Eero, all of this sounds really great, but how am I going to develop this ability? This is very confusing. When does strength training actually turn into strength endurance training? Perhaps you remember a particular quote from Muhammad Ali while he was doing sit-ups. He said, I only start counting when it starts hurting because they are the only ones that count. That's what makes a champion. If I had to summarize strength endurance into one quote, that would be it. See, most people stop when the fatigue starts to set in. Just the moment 
when you begin to endure. This is where you stop. But how can you develop endurance if there's nothing to endure? On the other end, perhaps you're doing long workouts, but you never use the sufficient strength and force to get tired. And it's called strength endurance for a reason, not just endurance and not just strength. There must be adequate intensity for you to start reaching the fatigue zone, but not too much so that you would have to stop completely. From here onwards, you need to work past the point of fatigue and discomfort into the zone where radical physical adaptations can take place. This point is unique for each and every one of us, but by pushing further and further into that zone is where we really start to develop real strength endurance. And without this, your body will never develop the tolerance for physical exhaustion. This is exactly how we do it in the Warrior 20X method, which contains circuit-based follow-along routines where I lead you into that growth zone and I will make sure that you stay there so there is no chance that your body won't transform. Whether it's body weight, dumbbells, kettlebells, barbell or mace and clubs, we take everything out of these tools. This is how you take your entire physique to the next level. It is how warriors through time have unlocked the full power of their potential and pushed themselves to become real beasts. If you are ready to develop machine-like endurance, scorch fat from your body, and enhance your work capacity on all physical areas. Then, let's begin.